Yo guys, what up? We're back again continuing our Marvel Legends review series and we got another future member of the Avenger here, Black Panther. Why do I have him in the splits? I don't know. Probably because I can't do him myself. So, before we get into the meat and potatoes of this review, I should probably mention I picked this guy up loose off eBay. In a bundle of other items, of course. In other words, I'm not too sure what he's supposed to come with, but I just got this guy because he kind of looks cool. So, first impressiones. Let's take a close-up of his paint job here. So you can see that he's not just all black here. Of course, he's got bits and pieces of blue. And I really like the shade of blue, by the way. What do you call this? What would you... I don't even know what shade of blue you'd call this. Would it be like a... I don't know. Someone tell me because I don't know what to call this blue. But I really like it. It really does the job of highlighting the figure in places where I guess they thought it needed highlighting. And they've even got a nice gradient here, if you can see that. And if you don't know what a gradient means, it's just a nice blend of the colors. I'm really liking the gloves here. Like, I don't know, I've never seen a costume like this. Maybe Baron Zemo, Zemo, from the uh, Winter Soldier wave, but in yellow. But I mean, no way, he's got the purple pinstripe thing going on. Anyways, I really like the gloves. They're really unique, and like I said, that blue is just killer, man. Like... And this guy's got the boots to match. I don't know. I don't know which Foot Locker he hit up, but he hit it up at the right time because I can't find these anywhere. Matching gloves and boots. Damn. <laughs> Taking a look at the head, it's pretty damn cool as well. You've got it's not again. It's not that flat blue. It's it's actually a multiple blending gradient style coloration. You can even see the little ear there. Like it almost looks like it's gone, but no. I think it's still there under the mask. Now just look at those piercing eyes, those piercing white eyes, if you guys can see it there. Let me just put the light a little closer. It's burning me now as I touch it, this light, so hopefully you guys are thankful for this. Ow! So yes, he does indeed have a nose. Now with this head, you can go two ways with this head, two ways here. You can either go the Bruce Willis, is it Bruce Willis? Join the Blue Man group? Or Nightfall Batman. Now if you guys don't know who Nightfall Batman is, let me bring him into the picture for you. This is Nightfall Batman. Obviously it's not a 6 inch figure, so that's why he's kind of a dwarf compared to Black Panther here. And he does not have any articulation except for your, what, like 5 basic points. That brings up the point of, look how far we've come with these action figures and everything and their points of articulation. Mind boggling, right? Anyways, here's what I was saying. With the... Nightfall thing, if you guys can see that, the camera would focus here once again. Freaking camera here. Do do do. There we go. Pretty similar, wouldn't you say? Like, I wonder if I can even. You sit down there for a second. I wonder if I can even take this guy's cape off. That's how he looks without the cape. And then my lamp just fell, and it's burning my foot. So give me a second. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, I was saying the gold on here and the silver on here. Keep in mind, this figure was produced in the 90s. What were they thinking with this color scheme? I don't know, he looks kind of like a fish, kind of like a sardine or something. But anyways, the cape. I was just trying to see if I could squeeze this on here. I doubt it, because his cranium looks a little bit too crantastic there. That's as, bottom as much as you can go. So if you're looking to get kind of like a Ghost Rider slash Blue Headless Horseman thing around Halloween figure, look no further, guys. It's right here. Looking at the back of the figure now, he does have a hole in his back. I don't think he got shot. I think I've seen this figure. I, well, I've seen a variant of this figure, or probably I think it's a uh, an earlier edition of the figure, or something, some something or another. But it actually has a cape, and he has a whole bunch of like gold bling on it and stuff like that. That figure looks like even more like Batman, by the way. Um, yeah, and he's also got the peg holes on the feet. But I, yeah, I do think a cape is supposed to go in there. Or you could be creative. Okay, so let's mosey on over and take a look at this guy's articulation. As far as articulation goes, he's pretty good. I mean, like, his head can look about this much up. It's pretty far, so you can have him flying at you with his tiger claws. Cl crouching tiger hidden dragon style. He can even look, holy crap, that's a lot down. So you can, you can, uh, if you tell him his flies open, he can actually check. So, yeah. He's got a huge ab crunch joint here, much like uh, Carnage, the Infinite, Marvel Legends Infinite Series Amazing Spider-Man 2 Carnage. This is probably the same mold, mind you with minor differences, but yeah, he's got uh, back extension and all that jazz. As far as his shoulder joints, they're pretty great. He's got a lot of striations in his shoulders too. He's a fit guy. Anyways, he's got a um, typical, my hands are a bit of rust or 
crap on it, but can move about that much up, basically all the way back down, and you can rotate it. Again, you'd have to pinch and twerk. Pinch and twerk. Same thing goes for the elbow, standard elbow joint here, and his kick-ass gloves have a hinge joint on them, just like Captain America, Iron Man, but not Black Widow. As far as his legs go, he's got good legs. As you saw, he can do the splits, so he's pretty mobile. Goes all the way about that much up. He's got some major donkey kicking action over there. You can thigh rotation, double jointed knees like that. He's got a really big knee bone. You guys know people like that that have really big knee bones? I have really big knee bones. Anyways, you've got your calf rotation, as well as your ankle flexion and extension, and as well as your ankle pivot. Am I the only one who this guy kind of reminds me of like a zombie or a white walker or something? So yeah, overall I think this figure is a pretty cool figure. I would not say it's a necessity in your collection, especially for your, if you're trying to get up a Avengers collection started. But it definitely is a cool figure. I really like the costume. And you know what? I, I guess as long as you look like Batman, you're in the books for cool. It's that easy. So that's been my review on Marvel Legends Black Panther. As always, guys, crush that like button if you like what you see and you want to see more here. Until next time, peace.